Hello guys, I got a little bit of a video here today for you, as usual, times two speed, and I'll just be giving commentary as I go. I think in this we're about, we're around 100, 200 LP, waiting for the set to end, I think the new set starts on the 5th, but if you guys are really pushing to make it to the elo you want to by the end of the set, you can just do this every single game, and that is just playing Heartsteel, every single game. You guys can go into Team Planner, select all the four costs you want, and every single game roll down. The ideal board you guys are going to be looking for here today would be the Zack, Zed, and Ezreal, which is Jazz Tekkens here. You'd be rocking the set and uh, some of the other Heart Steel units. But you'd just be playing this every single game. I think I climbed over 100 LP plus just doing this every single game. And I'd recommend you guys just do this. The game has never been balanced, nor will it ever be. And I've made some videos on how it railroads you into playing certain things. And as such, I mean, if you can't beat them, just join them. Basically, the premise of it is, is always presenting strongest board. You guys are going to see here, I had a complete AP opener. And we're just going to be able to transition into an AD opener towards the end of the video. And the way we do that is by building flex items such as Giant Slayer, you know, Blue Buff, which is universally an AD and AP item now, and just moving our way towards that lineup that I told you about. You know, we're just going to be following standard leveling. That means coming up here on the next turn, we'll be leveling up. And then on 2 5, we level up. 3 2, we level up. And then 4 2, we level up, depending on how rich we are or how poor we are. And then, all right, starting off, we have blinged out. Like I said, on stage two one, you guys are gonna wanna choose augments that are more econ oriented. You're not gonna wanna choose something that railroads you like blinged out, unless I already had a Yasuo chosen or something else, we're never gonna take this. Ascension is basically useless. I would have never touched this with a 10 foot pole, guys. Cybernetic bulk is decent, but as you can see, we only have two components. So these are all not very good to take here. So we're going to refresh the first one, and then the second one. Low interest rates is always good, guys, because basically this means we always have 20 gold interest the whole game. And this allows us to just power level at certain intervals, which might not be advantageous in other positions. But this allows us to keep win streaks or capitalize off lose streaks a bit better, depending on if you guys aren't able to make key like interest intervals and sell your board at certain ways like we're holding on to a three cost of mumu maybe a three star or a three cost of x that's very expensive in the early game that's six gold long distance pales is always decent but it's not what it used to be in my opinion unless like you were rocking like yo and reroll with um riven reroll or something like that i would never touch this or maybe um Urgussi with samira right and then cybernetic bulk like we said was bad so we're leaning towards taking this which is an econ augment on two one and basically, when you guys start getting in higher and higher elo, patient study is also very good. It gets you where you got to get going. But if you're playing this, guys, you are more along the line leaning towards trying to push level 9 and 10. And if we're talking about consistency, this is the best one for us here today. And what you guys will realize is there's real no difference between Grandmaster and Challenger. Or I would even say Master tier, like High Masters, because the LP just keeps going up as the set goes on, right? But the main difference between challenger players and lower elo players is just the consistency. It's how it's how li little you can limit variance and just play the most broken comps of the patch and force up elo. You know, people will say, oh, how is so-and-so this elo or whatever. And a lot of it just comes down to playing what's broken at the time. Like there was a time period, I don't know if you guys remember, set a go or two, where Samira as a two-star four cost with just Zack and like, some of the other bruiser front lines was so strong that you could play it every single game and climb infinite elo. It'll be the same with some other rerolls in the future sets. Especially when new patches drop, the there will always be a comp that's just the best. And you can just spam it every single game and climb indefinitely. You guys have seen I'm playing like a little bit of a comp that's very far off of playing um Heart Steel. But we're gonna just still hold on to the units. That's one of the bonuses of this augment. It allows us just to keep greeting, right? And we're just going to transition out. Remember, two stars are better than one stars. So we'll just swap that out here on the board. 
and you guys can pretty much play this comp from any pivotable position because it's so flexible. Because you only need one star, um, you know, one star jazz units, and then you can just tech in whatever two star four cost you hit, whether it be Poppy, Zach, and just play flexibly with that. And then you know Ezreal or Caitlyn. You prefer Ezreal, but you know beggars can't be choosers. And worst comes to worst, guys, a lot of climbing is just consistency. So the real game plan of like climbing to high elo is always just getting top 6th. You don't ever want to get 7th or 8th, but if you just get top 6th every single game you'll climb. And since we know we're going to cap out at 30 gold, guys, here, I really don't care about missing one gold interest, right? Like, it's not going to make or break my board if I, you know, I'll agree to hold on to, like, a Moomoo -moo pair here. Because if you hit, like, a Moomoo -moo 2, it kind of, like, just hard stabilizes you for the rest of the game, right? I'm not going to sell to make interest here. There's no point. And one thing I'd recommend that if you guys are playing this hard seal comp... Don't always just greed for Ezreal. You gotta start getting more comfortable playing different two star four cost headliners. And you'll see that with this game, right? You can kinda of greed, but you know, going for Thresh, Poppy, Zach, Chosen is never bad. You can go Zed, uh, uh, Ezreal. There's so many good choices that you can go that it's pretty much impossible not to hit on your roll down. Eh. Not so fast with that. So we already chose an Econ Augment, guys. So we're not going to want to have another Econ Augment here. So we're going to want to choose a Combat one. So another thing to note is that gold versus uh, silver. Silver is always going to be weaker than gold. So if somebody chose a, you know, gold Combat Augment, that's going to really start shining out later in the fights, later into the game. But Indomitable Will is always good. Essentially, like we said, is shit. Because the fights are already over before ever kicks on especially if somebody has like a ribbon three or something silver ticket we're never going for reroll so we're gonna just fly, fly by these we're not going for a three star three cost so we're never taking this this is very bad this would be like so if we're going for another this is like really good for like punk let's say if you know you need, you're rolling on one costs but cybernetic will just always be a good tech and especially because we have thieves gloves right we know we're gonna get value out of it So standard leveling here on 3-2 as usual. And we're just going to be grading and holding on to pairs as we go. And I don't know. I, I wish there was more creativity to the game. And I've griped about it, but people just say I'm bitching. But the sad part is you can just play... And definitely you can play this every single game. I'm not even getting hard steel cash outs. So this guy's about to get a hard steel cash out over here. And you guys should, I recommend you guys use your uh, team planner every single time. And we're just going to slowly keep trying to itemize the best we can. You know, especially if you're forcing this, you're not going to be able to get Infinity Edge, Blue Buff, and like Red Buff on Ezreal every single game. But it's probably going to be a Hextech um, Gunblade. You can rock Sojin or Blue Buff, whichever one you can just find. You just need some kind of mana enabler on her, on them, but that's not even always the case. Just three AD items. And if you can't find a 
mana enabler, just slap whatever AD items that you make that are trash onto Zed, right? We're gonna go for the Lulu pair, which gives us just the red buff that we're looking for. I think they nerfed it. It used to be 8% damage, and now it's gone down to 6. But it takes care of like two birds with one stone. It gives you like anti heal and some other thing, like burn or whatnot. And it's still very good. The cool part about this Ogman is we haven't made above 40 gold interest anyways, but we're just stacking that bread. So technically right now, guys, we have 50 gold interest because of our uh, tier 2-1 Augment. So although it doesn't look like it, we're at 50 gold interest here. And when you guys are making your transition, I which will be out here on 4-2, because what is it? 3 or 4-1, you guys can do it if you have a lot of gold, right? And... Nobody else, and you're like getting really contested, but all in all, you really should wait till 4 2. It's just a better in interval to roll down. You really don't even need to hold on to the Cassantes. I hold on to the pair because you can just also tech and blitz crank. That's another way you can play it with just Sentinel. But I hope you guys are having a good day. I do appreciate everybody that sticks around to the end of my videos and watches and supports and all that jazz. And since we only get 30 gold interest, I can just pump the rest into the XP bar. It's not going to make a difference. So we hit the set, which is like a key cornerstone for the comp. And we're just going to put the Ezreal out for a turn, and we're going to gain another turn of maximum gold interest. And just play it slow. You know, don't do anything absurd if you don't have to. Get the heart steal out there in case we lose a combat. Can at least start getting the stacks, or at least when we kill units, right? Because we usually want to see what our augment is on 4 2 before we make any, like, really big decisions, right? Just because we're leaning towards playing this comp doesn't mean we're going to get railroaded into playing it here. Alright, so heroic presence. This is really good if you guys are playing punk, but I wouldn't recommend taking this in any other instance. Uh, Contagion is very good, especially now because we're at 4-2. A lot of people have a lot of units on the board. So this actually has value spreading to a lot of units. Jewel Lotus is very good, especially for Ezreal, where we want more crit chance on his cast. So this is pretty decent. It buffs your whole board. So Combat Caster, this is more beneficial for Disco or RAKDA, so we're not going to take something like this. Or I would say Emo, where you're rocking like Reroll Vex and Moo Moo, you know, yada yada yada. And three's a crowd we're not going to take. This is really good in KDA. Now, one thing I'd recommend you guys on 4-2 is choosing your augment quick. Don't be slow like me, because we're choosing our augment really slow. Somebody could have already selected something, sold their headliner, and rolled down and hit the Ezreal, and take three out of the pool. And then yada yada. So you're, so you're missing more, you know, there's a finite amount of units in the pool, so you want to be fast on 4-2 on selecting your augment. And I have a lot of gold locked up in these units that I can just sell and liquidate and try to look for like a different headliner. Now, I leave my headliner open and I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but every turn now I'm gonna get a free shop refresh on headliners. So it isn't the worst. In any loss we take here, guys, we have so much HP that we're just stacking hard steel stacks now at this point. And I'm just going to probably Nico the Ezreal here right off rip because, I don't know, presenting strongest boar, killing more units, you know, prevents you from bleeding out a bit more. No point in just waiting around for it. And if we do see an Ezreal headliner, we'll just juggle it for a different front line, uh, front line headliner, right? So we're looking for Zed or Zack or something like that to come along here. To transfer the Amumu items over, or at least Poppy, right? We're going to be looking for something here to probably try to kill this large rod because we don't have it on our board. But we can make a D-Claw Bramble here, which is very good. We're finally able to hit the Zed. And then the cool part about this comp, guys, is you really never have to go past level 8. You can kind of chill here. The value's too high. 
and since that we know that coming up here no large rod really goes on any other unit the best you can make is the uh large rod with the chain item but everything else is pretty booty on it in this comp always take your cash out we're not raising stakes it's too early into the game and we're just donkey rolling for a new headliner because the ability to hit a two-star, four-cost headliner here is too great. Especially with our 2-1 augment. We're, we already technically have 20 gold interest the whole time. Now, if you decide to take this misfortune jazz, you're really just, you're just screwing yourself. I'd never touch this with a 10 foot pull. There's just no point. And we finally hit the Thresh headliner, which is a Guardian Thresh, so I'm willing to take this because at least then we have something to slam these really good tank items on. And we're able to build the redemption. Want to put Thresh in the center, so it just wraps the most amount of units. This is what I mean by you guys don't always have to get like Ezreal Headliner. You can choose any of the other two star four costs, even Thresh in this case. And it still does the job it needs to. It gives you another Jazz synergy. And now our whole game plan is to kind of just push up in levels. Maybe go level nine here and see if we can get, you know, the Zack out there or get the Zed out there. The Zed will give us a Crowd Diver, but we'll be missing out on EDM because we chose the Thresh Headliner, right? And you guys just do this every single game and you'll climb. That's the sad part. It's either you get real, it's either like you lose streak in the early game with hard steel and you get big cash outs that allow you to win, or you just start outvaluing everybody. I think hitting the Alawi here was really big. I think Poppy 1 is still better than Z1, so that's why we're just losing gold interest here to hold on to it. So we're kind of looking for Z items now, if we can find them, or just something here to slam. Remember, guys, if you're going to lose, you can always just try to resell your headliner and try to find something new later on. So an example would be as if we hit level 9, and, you know, even through your natural shops, you keep getting different headliners. If I saw, like, a Zed headliner or I saw a Zack headliner, I might be more inclined to swap it over, right? Thresh isn't that bad of a unit, since CC really isn't a thing this set, you know, Thresh provides a ton of value. As you can see, we're already top 4 now. And we're just going to go to try to get our one more synergy out there for Jazz. Now Aphelios and uh, Lucian would be a better tech in if we could find that, but as you find in, you know, Lucian is pretty slim. Just gonna level up here and put out the Zed. I do think that this is just more synergy, so it's just better. And I think Poppy 2 would have been better here, so we just sold it. And we were freezing for the Alawi pair, and then we're just chilling. You guys can just do, just do this every game. It, it, you can swap between, if you're not finding Ezreal, you just rock Aphelios, and then you rock Caitlyn. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Just do this every single game, pivoting between the uh, two-star four-cost headliners, and you'll get to where you want to get going. Just spam it every single game, and you'll climb.